Bienvenidos and welcome to all my friends who are looking to smile today. My name is Crossbite and today we're going to be looking at Unity and how we can utilize Unity to change the expressions that we get by default out of Vroy. So we're going to go ahead and take our exported file out of Vroy, which should be in a dot brm file and if you're not familiar with that i have another video that shows you how to export so go check that out but for today we're going to assume you've already got your vrm file and we're going to need an older version of unity as well as a plugin known as uni vrm so i'm going to give you the links to these in the description but we're going to go real quick and we're going to look at uni vrm and if you just scroll down a little bit you're going to see the current versions that are supported, the recommended version, and then of course you're going to have your download section with release notes and things like that. We're also going to go and get that old version of Unity that it requires. Uh, currently it needs 2019.4, so we're going to switch over to this section 2019 and scroll down. And you can use any version of 2019.4. Um, I currently have 2019.4.17, but as of this video, the latest one just came out and it's 4.19. So go ahead and download that. Uh, this isn't a video on how to download files or install them, so I hope you can handle that on your own. But I do want to give you the resources, and if you want to follow along exactly, feel free to download 40.17. But if you want to go with the newer version, I would imagine it's pretty much going to work the same. So. Go ahead and get Unity, go ahead and install that, and then go ahead and get the Uni VRM. Uh, that Uni VRM, when you go to the release page there, you're going to scroll down until you see the package file that you want, which is going to be right there. It's going to say .unity package at the end. So whatever the newest version is should be at the top for you. Go ahead and download that and install that. That's also going to come with a base file, which is going to be important, so make sure that you have that because if you don't load in that base file, you won't get the VRM toolbar option that we're going to need. But I'm going to go ahead and open up Unity now. I'm going to assume by this point you've got it installed. And if we look over under the install section on the left here, we can see there it is. 2019.4.17 for me. Maybe dot something else for you. But we're going to go to projects and we're going to create a new project. And once you get that new project opened, make sure you load in that VRM base file. Uh, you can create a new folder, call it VRM if you'd like, and drop it in there. But you're going to need to have that base file installed and loaded. And the reason you need that is because up at the top you can see there's a new option that says VRM. And that's where we're going to get our import and export options. Um, if you're like me using an older version, you may get this update check. Feel free to update if you want, or just stick with the current version if you'd like to as well. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to import our VRM file that had been exported out of Vroid. And if you'd like, you can create a new folder for this or drop it in the VRM folder down there on the bottom left, um, or just drop it in the assets folder. It really doesn't matter where you drop it or where you import it to because we're still going to be able to access it the same. So you can see my file just came in. Um, it didn't record the actual import process, but you can see it just popped up there on the left, cross spike stripes. So, because it's under assets, I'm going to go ahead and click on the assets folder, but if yours is under VRM or something else, that's where you're going to want to navigate to. So you can see I've actually got two. I've got my old version I was working on, which is just my classic black, and then I've got mine with stripes. And we're just going to drag that over into the left toolbar here. Make sure you drag it to the left side and not in the preview window. And the reason you do that is because it'll actually place your character at absolute zero in the grid here. And that's going to be helpful if you're going to be doing more manipulation uh, after this or beyond just expressions. So I think it's just a safe bet to just drop it on the left side, make sure you're at the zero position, and move on from there. Um, you're going to see on the right side you're going to have a whole lot of information. Uh, some of it's going to be stuff that you may have entered in Vroid, like your title and version and the author and things like that. Um, we're not going to mess with any of this stuff today, but there's a lot of settings here for you to look at if you'd like to. We're going to focus over here on the left side with all those folders that got imported with our model. And 
we are looking for the one that says blend shapes. So I'm going to find my blend shapes. And we're going to go through here. You're going to see there's a bunch here, and they're all the, the different ones here. But we're looking for the one that ends with dot asset. So blend shape dot asset is going to have all of our different facial features here. And you can click on any of these expressions here. These are the same ones that you would see in Vroid or in any face tracking software that you're using. And these are the sliders that you may have seen in Vroid as well. So pretty similar functionality here. Uh, there's actually a little more functionality in Unity, and that's why we are here. So I'm going to take the surprised face. I don't particularly like the melt expression in the surprised face, so I'm going to drag that all the way down. By default it has all the features out to max, and because I don't like that mouth expression, I think I'm just going to stick with the eyes. So I'm just going to go down through the list here until I find the eyes, and I'm just going to crank that up all the way. So now I've got my surprised eyes, I don't have my surprised mouth, and I'm pretty happy with that. So that's all I needed to do for that. You can create custom expressions if you want with this, so if you don't want your joy expression to be joy, you know. Feel, feel free to mess around with the sliders and make it something that you actually want. And you can even rename these if you'd like. So, you know, if you want to make a, a smug face, for example, you can actually change that and make it a smug face. So that's all up to you. You can also take a look at the preview window and see how your face is going to look ahead of time before you make any commitment to what you want to do. So feel free to make your changes mess around as you would like to. Uh, another one that I have issue with is just the standard blinking. My eyes are a little bit big, so the blink doesn't quite close my eyes all the way. So the winks and the blinks I need to adjust a little bit. So I'm just going to take the joy eye and kind of crank that up about halfway, let's say about 45. And that's going to make it so my eye actually closes all the way and doesn't look like I'm kind of just squinting whenever I wink or blink using uh, outside software like VC Face, which we're going to use today just to kind of test all this. So if you need to make those kind of corrections, you have that ability as well. So feel free to get in, make those changes, and make it work for you. Uh, one thing I do want to note is that if you are familiar with the fangs in Vroid, you will note that they don't actually export when you export your VRM file. So if you've ever exported it with fangs, and then loaded it into your tracking software and noticed, hey, my fangs aren't there, um, that's just kind of a quirk of the software, so you can actually turn those fangs back on in Unity if you need to. Uh, those sliders are kind of at the bottom of the list here. It's just a quick note, I'm not going to actually touch those for my own character today, but I wanted you to be aware if that's something you're interested in. So I've fixed my winks and my blinks by increasing the joy eye slider along with the eye closed slider. And when you're all done and happy with it, you're going to go back up to VRM and you're going to want to export your humanoid. And once you export, uh, if you don't have it selected on the left side there, it may not default to your humanoid, your VRM character there. So there is a little bullseye icon and you can use that to select your character once that export option comes up. All of these settings here should look pretty familiar to you. So the same stuff you'd probably configure in Vroid, your title, your version, your author, all that kind of stuff. Uh, as well as your commercial licenses. These are all here and you can adjust those again before you finally hit export. And then once you hit export, of course, save it somewhere that you can get to it and that you can utilize it. And then we're going to go ahead and load this model into VC Face just to make sure that the expressions we've come up with are working as we expected. So we're going to go to settings, we're going to go to expressions, and all of our expressions are here and we've messed with most of them. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to set them to just a simpler hotkey, just for the sake of convenience here, so we can get all these tested pretty quickly. All right, so I've got my expressions set one through six, and we're just going to run through them real quick. Uh, make sure you have yours set to toggle or hold as you need them. And we're just going to go ahead and kind of run through them. Got anger, joy, sorrow and surprise. So they're looking pretty good. They're looking as I expect them. All of my expressions are coming through and I'm waggling around and my eyes are doing what I'd like them. Oh, I'm sad. Oh, I'm surprised. 
Huh? I'm surprised because everything's working as expected, and that makes me happy. I hope this was helpful for you. If it was, please give me a thumbs up. If not, please give me a thumbs down, and I'll catch you all in the next video. See ya!